Welcome back. Time now is 8.30 on your Saturday. I'm Josh Robertson. We've got parades starting in New Orleans in just about an hour. Let's get over to Hannah Garden now with a look at this first alert day. People need to be aware of what's in store. Yeah, I'm trying to show you what's going on right now, and then we'll talk about what's happening later. A lot of people about to head out the door, or maybe you're already down there on the parade route, as we are going to see those start to roll here shortly. It is very cloudy. We've seen some rainfall already this morning. Nothing heavy, just some light showers, and that's what we're seeing starting to increase from the west over here. We have this rainfall moving on shore. There is some heavier patches of rain well over to the west of us, and we could see some moderate rain at times as we go throughout the morning hours, but it's mostly going to be just shower activity until we get to the evening. Temperatures are in the 50s, a little cooler to the north where we're in those low 50s. We're seeing upper 50s, almost 60 degrees on the south shore, so it is a bit warmer. We're going to kind of top out right around those low 60s today as we see the rain increasing through the afternoon. So here's what's happening. We have this low pressure system on the surface down here near Texas. You can see this line of storms projecting out to the east, south of Houston along that cold front. But we also have the warm sector here pushing on shore in parts of southern Louisiana near Lake Charles. But the main part of this low pressure system is all the way up on the panhandle. So the reason that this is kind of coming in waves and slowing down a bit is because the low that's in the upper levels is not pushing it quite yet. Now, by the time we get to the evening, it's going to make it to us because this low will push farther to the east. You can see it wrapping up right here. Notice how it kind of hasn't moved since a couple hours ago, right on where my finger is. It is going to start to push eastward, but right now this is just a big area of lift in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So we're going to see heavy rainfall and we could see some storms as well. So the rain early is going to be on the lighter side. By the afternoon into the evening, we see those stronger storms that will bring a wind and flood threat. Now, is this a severe risk? No, but we could see some of those fall just below that severe threshold. So I am worried about the flooding potential. We're in a level two out of four risk in the area in yellow. That's all of southern Louisiana. Now it doesn't include the North Shore. That's a level one out of four. So what that shows us is that low is really going to hug along the coastline and bring those heaviest storms right along the coast. And that's where we'll see the heaviest rainfall. Right now totals are looking like one to three inches widespread. Those areas that we see a swath pull up to the northeast with the storms could see even higher isolated totals there, more than three inches. Certainly cause for flooding concerns. The grounds are still really saturated and in those more developed areas with more concrete, we could see some flash flooding. So we'll watch for that. Then as we push into those evening hours, we don't just see this lighter rain. We see a round of some really heavy storm activity pushing our way. Now the models, as these have updated throughout the morning, are becoming more robust with these storms farther north. Now a lot of that was offshore earlier. We're starting to see some of those pushing inland. So that's something to watch. This will be around four to eight that we see the bulk of this make its way into the area and then it will taper off to the east through the evening by midnight things are clearer we could see some lingering showers but the storms will clear out sunday morning clear and then we might see some scattered showers by sunday evening for those parades something to watch the rain will really clear out by the time we get to monday that'll bring that sunshine back around now i'm also concerned not just about the flooding risk but the wind gust as these storms move in. Now this is just showing as it approaches, we could see 30 mile per hour wind gusts. I think we could see 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts in some isolated areas along with those storms as they push through, which is not a good recipe with those floats. Now the good news, most of the crews have pushed those parades up. So it's not going to be bad in the morning hours. Still could see some rainfall though. So pack the rain gear, pack the rain boots just in case. And that's going to last all the way through the afternoon that we could see periodic showers. The stronger storms will come, I'd say after three is really when we're going to start to watch for those thunderstorm potential. That's when you're not going to want to be on the parade route. So make sure that you have a plan to get off of the route safely and get home in time for those storms. The rain chances will then taper off midweek. We see those increasing into the next weekend. So here is your Mardi Gras countdown as we head into the holiday. Temperatures get on the warmer side. We will be above normal all the way through Mardi Gras, but we're also looking at that unsettled pattern continuing. Right now, Lundy Gras looks to be the stormiest, but we can't rule out rain chances any of those days. The driest period over the seven-day forecast is going to be 
in the middle of this week. So enjoy that. We are going to see some dry periods though, Josh. Just because it has rain on that day that your parade rolls yeah. doesn't mean that it's going to be washed out. It just means we have to keep an eye out on it. Unfortunately, we're not just saying we're good to go, it's dry. We'll and be seeing that stormy pattern. And it's not just, it's, rain is not the problem. A little bit of rain we can handle. It's Exactly, all if it's rainy, we'll deal with it. Yeah. But like you said, we have to wait till it gets closer for those forecasts to pinpoint the days that might be problems yeah. for the parades. Absolutely, all right, thank you, Hannah. 8.36.